There are many reasons lately that I feel like I'm just kind of stuck, and this is probably the biggest one. My RV is going on 25 years old, and isn't that what they say they don't make them like they used to That uh, about appliances? And that if you can get 25 years out of a fridge or another appliance that, oh, you're doing really well. Oh, what if that's true right now and I've gotten all I may be able to get out of my refrigerator that costs about $2,500 to replace. Um, on the other hand, the freezer is working like a champ. So the cooling system is still working right. I've replaced the thermistor. I thought I had good results, uh, but it's just not consistent. And I don't know if I'm, any time, if I'm pulling out food to eat that is going to make me sick or what. Uh, in fact, uh, I, I'm kind of amazed that I, I had a, I, I basically had the fridge empty for about two weeks. Uh, stuck Pepsi in it, but, you know, if it wasn't cold, it wasn't cold. I got some milk this last Sunday and drank it all week. There were times when the fridge was at 55 degrees. And other times it was in low 30s. It was 32 for a, a day or so. And I haven't adjusted really anything after putting everything at the maximum. Uh, it just won't stay. So I've got so many things I need to get done. And the whole time in the back of my mind, it's like, okay, well, are you just living in denial that this is something you really have to work on? Or is it somehow just going to work out? And it doesn't seem like it's just going to work out. Anyway, uh, here's a little video, here's some video on kind of what I've tried to do. And uh, yeah, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to maybe spend some money to have somebody at least take a look at it. But I live in this thing and I can't just drive it over to Camping World and leave it for a few days. Um, so... Yeah, you can tell that I really, I can't figure out what to even say, much less what to do. So, anyway, here's some video, and in the meantime, I've got some other stuff I'm going to try to work on while I try to sort it out. Thanks for watching, and boy, if anybody knows about this stuff better than me, I've looked at a bunch of videos online, and I, I cannot find this particular problem where the freezer's good, great, and the fridge is fluctuating so much that it doesn't seem reliable. Uh, so if anybody knows, I would love to have some insight on this. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Uh, the grandson is uh, growing and uh, entrancing me every time I see a picture or uh, get a video where he's making little... Uh, baby noises that I could listen to for the rest of my life uh, and pretty much not have to do anything else. Uh, so many things to be thankful for. I am blessed and grateful. Uh, I don't really have a reliable refrigerator, but uh, on the other hand, it doesn't seem to be the end of the world. Uh, it would be good to get it sorted out, though, so thanks. Well... Either it's a $12 part or a $2,400 fridge. I've watched some videos and I'm going to try to replace the thermistor in the fridge. I'm not barely getting below 40 degrees any given time and I'm just hoping it's the thermistor. Well, there's the tape up job and there's the hole that it's going through and it was, this was moving freely. So it was zip tied at the bottom, but once I got that one off outside, uh, this did move freely. So let's see if we can snake this through and get a new thermistor on. 
All right, it's a tough call. Do I attach here and pull this out and down, or do I go to the other end and attach the thermistor to the end of this line and pull it up? I've decided that I'm going to tape this to protect it and then attach it uh, by tape to the end of this with the idea that pulling this down is better than maybe stressing the thermistor itself. That's the idea. Let's see how it goes. So much for my bright idea. Gonna have to try another way now. So far, I have managed to not get stung by the wasp that was trying to come home to the nest that I thought was dead but was actually still active. And I had to go to plan C, or was it L or M? I'm not sure to try this flexible cable as the way to get the line through. And I think maybe it might have worked. All right, I think it was not damaged in the process. Now I'm gonna try to thread it back through from above and get it down behind the compressor system. And it plugs in right over here. Wow, wouldn't it be nice if this actually was the issue and that it works now? It is 3.40 p.m. and inside here it's 61 degrees right now. Let's give it a couple hours and see what it looks like. There are many crossroads in life, some of them more important than others. And right now, I'm at one of those crossroads. Will the refrigerator be working? or not? Did the th was it the thermistor that was the problem or not? It's been two hours. It was at 60 something, I think. And let's see what it is now. Well, it's at 54. It's coming down, but it's not much. So I may have to leave it overnight to see if what's really happening. What's the fridge temp this morning? Not very good. Okay, now what? I wish I could say that this was the end of the story and it turned out all right, but 41, I don't know. Is that okay for a fridge? I'm thinking it should be colder than that. I finally got milk again, but I don't think that's cold enough. And I've done everything I know to do at this point. Yeah, about 43 and rising. I'm in about two and a half weeks worth of trying to figure out if I still have a refrigerator or not. And honestly, I, I still don't know. The door was shut all night and I did not, the milk did not go sour, but I was in the 40, sometimes as high as 55 degrees in the fridge after changing the thermistor and having a couple days where it was back in the 30s. And I just don't know if I'm going to have to give up and buy a fridge. Any, any ideas? Boy, that would be great to have some expert input on this. Uh, I'm stumped.